my name is Jack, Hog Jack Hodgins and I'm here to show you how to build your own website very straightforward very professional and this is what you need to do so if you haven't purchased the main name simple sim thing easy to do is go to www.123-reg.co.uk and it will present the domain names um, you can purchase and buy so I would search uh, for a domain name you wanted to want to buy so let's say for instance um, we call it DJI Phantom <clears throat> you can call it anything do a search for it in, in your search bar here and it will then go through to tell you whether it's been registered or not or if it's been taken so so here it will show you like variations of also all, all the different ones the extensions UK .co.uk .com .co. I mean, if you're going for a UK dom domain name I will just go for .co.uk I normally tend to take the um, .uk and .co.uk this one I re 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 recently purchased um, so, so for, so for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to buy um, UK. Uh, let's pick one. We won't actually purchase it, but we'll give you the, go through. They go all UK. So add that to your basket. You can add more than one to your basket if you wanted to. It depends on any you want. But for a, for a website, just keep the two. If it's a UK website. Do UK. Dot UK. Dot co. UK. Keep those two. Forget dot coms or dot Londons or dot today or dot agency. Not really. Not really worth it going to it. Go to your basket. And then you can see in your basket what name you got ready to purchase. Click on checkout um, and let it run through its process here. So here, basically, he says hide all your details. Who is look out? Don't want to know. Don't worry about that. That's if you want to hide your um, personal information because it will list on the who is as your name, address, postcode, telephone number. You can add that to it, but normally it adds a cost. I normally don't really bother. So I click on to continue. And then from here, if you haven't already logged in or purchased. Um, mm -hmm. If you haven't already logged in or purchased, um, you'll fill out your deta registration details here, click on continue, and I'll, I'll do the same as, as here. I won't go for the whole process out, but this is roughly what you'll go through. Next here, it'll give you other options you want to buy or purchase. So from this point onwards, you've got your domain name, you obviously need some web space to host it with. So I'll click on the hosting tab. This is if you want to buy a whole virtual server, which costs you £9.90 or £10 a month. So you have a whole virtual server to yourself. Uh, that's if it's going to be a really big website. But for the moment, as it's going to be sort of very basic, very start with, um, I will stick with normal web hosting. So here you'll sit there, configure and buy. So here you want it as a professional, Linux, one year billing. So it's £107 for the year. Um, business, I'll go for business. Business should be, an, be enough. So that give you a business package, one, one in Linux, which is like what, what WordPress runs really nicely on one year billing, that's fine. Add to the basket. So from this point and then um, let me check. You don't need site builder, instant traffic, don't need to worry about it yet. Site builders, no, servers recommended. Uh, that's it. So now click on check out. So here it says now do you want to add an email? So if you want an email just to go over your domain name, this is where you need to purchase it. So um, every inbox you have, it costs you money. So if you only want one inbox, I think aliases you get free aliases free with it anyway. So so, so you just basically want one one mailbox add to basket, uh, and then that should and add it to your basket. There we go, go for the process. So now here you're gonna get you buy your domain name, um, hosting package. So here you're selecting your your domain name. So you put your domain name into the box, and it should go in a sec. I refresh. There you go. This basically allows it allows that be tagged against your hosting package. So tag that in there. Linux, yeah, business package, yeah, per year fifty nine ninety eight. Um, set up fee for nine ninety nine, and your personal email address here. So you one email drop uh, dr um, mailbox package per one two three, and the payment plan eleven pound eighty eight a year. So every year you're going to be paying one hundred six pounds and forty eight pence um, for your website to be kept online. Uh, every year, basically, you can purchase like bigger plans. They get more and more cheaper as well. Three years, thirty five, uh, and same hosting package you can go up. So I'll I'll just stick it one year because it's easy enough to sort of check. Click on go to checkout, and this is where they start filling your information out, basically of payments. Um, so you do this, click OK, and then what it will do is then send you. Um, an email confirm all your settings. You you log in and and your domain name and password. So that's that's your hosting. That's your domain name setup, all sorted now. 
So now you want to um, download this file, which you need to go to, um, or well, we do a search, I can't remember the main outside, it's called um, WordPress um, downloads, or down, downloads. And then you click on this one here, WordPress downloads. This is where you download the WordPress. It's a free CMR, CMS or CMS um, solution. It's what drives your website, makes it more professional. You don't need tools. You don't need template, uh, template building, things like that. You know, or, or, or any specific programming. This will do it for you. It's got the latest version for uh, WordPress 4.0, but when you download your template, you need to make sure you are running the, the version of the template will run run with. Um, so you can do um, other downloads uh, other versions you can, you can go to that but for the moment we'll just click on download WordPress 4.0 this will now download it and when it downloads and finishes click on it and go to go to the folder oh actually it should be under your download Okay, so that'll be whether you if you've got a PC, it's whether you download it too. So we drop the WordPress folder on the on the on the desktop there. Click OK. Okay, so this is WordPress folder, and in here is all your WordPress files that you need to uh, upload to your hosting space. So it's simple as that one. So that's that's the hosting folder. So um, the money you purchased, download the, the source files you want. And now we need to know your template. So I will do a search for template monster, one of the best. Um, and here you'll need to download the uk.com one. So click on that one. And that'll take you straight to template monster.uk.com, which is all templates you can purchase for all different type of um, pr uh, product categories here. Um, and basically, in theory, because it's going to be a personal blog or, or business, you can actually search. But because it's going to be for a Pacific site like WordPress, we need to click on the CMS admin panel, which is here. And then now we need to then say browse all WordPress templates. And then this thing should give you a list all WordPress templates covering all these all these categories here. Okay, you can specifically pick a category, but here in theory. I will just go through because I've always find a template doesn't your categories don't always match what your business is or your personal blogging is. So I tend to look uh, a lot on here to know which one sort of roughly that I, I like. You I know, mean, it's, it's a pick and choice. So you want a very very basic, simple um, page. You can then just have a look on these little samples here and say, yeah, I like that, I like that. Fully equipped to it. Uh, you can click on it and it should then give you, there we go, opens up a, give you a preview page. There you go, so this is preview. So say for instance there's a template you wanted to do, you can click on the live demo, so you can demo the template live, um, so where that loads up, and from here it shows you what it would look like. Okay, it's, it's got a lot of demo contents in here, which you can then manipulate, change to your own contents, which makes it what, what these templates really good. They always come with contents pre-installed, uh, pre, pre so, so you've got, you got something to work on. So, okay, it may not necessarily be the images you want on here, but you can change all these images. So it's the layout you're looking for, the layout here, uh, what 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 sub menus you want here, because you can later on you can take these menus out, and then at the bottom here, do you want to do a bit of, want this info left here? So just picture what your information will go here would look like. Um, if you don't necessarily don't want that, in, again in the template, you can turn these off, turn these features off. Then the bottom here, you always want a template that will show like Facebook, your Twitter, or risk feed at the bottom here. So you can actually link up your Facebook and your Twitter connected to it as well. So, so that's your template you wanted. Yeah, I can work with that. So here the, the middle bit allows you to have more than one picture. So if you're showing off something, a uh, service or a product, or you're running a car business, you can put your cars on there and stuff like that. These you can change all, all the head all the headings here within, once it's in WordPress. You can literally change absolutely everything on here. So once you say, yeah, that's the site I like, you can test out the menus. Some some menus won't work, but it'll give you a rough idea. The back menu, testimonials, archives, FAQs, and if you click on those, it'll give you a rundown what it will actually look like. Again, all this can be changed to your own info, your own text. So don't sort of look at it. Oh, that's not the images I'm after. It won't give you the images you want. You get them yourself anyway. But um, you feel, feed all the, all all this yourself that you want 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 in here. Click on the news. News is a bit like the blog. So you can blog on there, put your news articles. Again, all these categories here, you can change them to any 
how you want your categories to be. This is just sample data that you can play and change. And you can see on there how the menus work, uh, archive, and then I'll see how it would look once it's on there. So it gives you those little funny things when your mouse goes over. So it gives it a really nice sleek look, very easy um, change. Again, because it's WordPress, it's very easy to change all this very easy to edit and stuff. You don't have to have all these comments on there, it, but it's great, it gives you automatic links like uh, if someone's actually seen your site, they think, oh, I want to tweet that bit of news. They can tweet it, so in theory you're getting someone sharing your contents from your site, so it makes it more interactive. You can turn all these leave comments off, don't have to have them on. Again, do all that through WordPress. So if it's a template you want, then what you do is then you click on um, buy this template, and then it'll take you through the process. So I'll take you through the process very quick on the buy template. So from this template here, um, it will show you regular and buy at price. So if you, if that is the new template you want, don't anyone else to have that same template? You can actually buy it out with with the buy at price, which basically means that only you will have that website. But you can actually check on the template. Um, I don't know if I've got the menu behind. There you go. Um, it will show you on here how many times that that has been been downloaded. So this is what template's been downloaded once. So someone else has got this template. You can actually search templates. It's got zero on here. Like for instance, it's got zero downloads. So no one else has bought that template. You can be unique and buy that, and then you can pay the the big price to say I I want that template. And then what they do is once you purchase at that price, then um, this will come off their website. Will never be on that website again. That be and then so you got a unique site. So if you want to pay out that sort of cost. Then, in, then that's what you need to buy. But if you get a, a full professional website design, we're building a template to your custom, your photographs, adding all that in. This is roughly what you would pay a, a decent web designer to do. But for the moment, you just want it really cheap and cheerful. Buy a template. Most of the time, people don't worry about it. They've got duplicate copies. Because by the time you change your photographs imagery, it's going to look slightly different anyway. So keep the regular price, 40, 46 pounds. And then you go check on, click on check out. And then it should then change, show you the template, they can manually install the template for you so if you don't want to worry about all the installation bits you can actually say for an extra £30 they'll do the ins install for you adding all the sample data. For 30 quid, that's not too bad, I mean if you've got no technical experience then you can just tick, click on that, say yep yeah, provide that custom install for us, click checkout and what they will then do is send uh, you, need, you an email once you've filled out your billing information and stuff like that and you purchase your template they'll then ask you for they are either direct you to log into their site and you provide the FPT details which you'll get from 123reg there they'll then log in and they'll upload all the stuff for you I think they even upload the WordPress version for you as well so £30 that's not too bad so in theory you're only paying £76 they're installing it for you and loading the template for you so it's up and running even better so again put billing details put all those bits in there postcode your email address your phone number because sometimes they, they do verification checks that will call you back and it will give you a variation number because this will flip to another screen and it will actually give you like you know how long the template will be ready to be downloaded uh, if it's in if it's in if they're gonna do the install for you they send you a date and time when it will be done and finished so I mean to be honest I mean in a, 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 an install we will keep this simple so say we go for 30 pound for the install very simple they'll do the install for you nice and easy click on the very payment at the bottom here PayPal pay by card and different money services. They click on the one that you want. So if it's buy, buy now on PayPal, as I don't feel that it won't won't process any further from this. But that's it. That will then give you a full working site that will eventually look like something like this. So this is what I originally been working on at the moment, and I've just installed my template. So when when they finish installing your template, this is basically. I mean, I've gone through this. Um, this, this template here which is all WordPress driven so and then from here once you've um, what I'll do is I'll do a different tutorial on WordPress so th this is what the end result will be a full working website now um, uh, so uh, straightforward as that so remember buy, buy your Wordspace123 reg um, buy your template then you get an email confirmation from 123 reg with all your details so you can then give you FTP details to template monster they then do the install for you so straightforward that site up and running live what we'll do is on my next video on my next uh, video tutorial I'll show you how once it's been uh, installed I'll show you how you can start manipulating WordPress 
for your own data. I've got this one here I'm actually working on. Um, I'll, video, I'll do a video tutorial of this as I'm customizing it so you can get to see what, how easy it is um, and go from there. All right, and I'll do another tutorial for a manual install. So if you don't want them to install it and you want to save yourself thirty pounds, then I'll show you how you can manually install it. We do need a little bit of technical experience, but if you follow my tutorial, it should be quite straightforward. So until then, um, have fun, and um, see you in the next one.